Magandang buhay mga bata. I am Teacher Mary Carr of Angeles Elementary School, your math teacher. Today's lesson is all about representing and writing division as equal sharing, repeated subtraction, equal jumps on the number line, and as formation of equal groups of objects. Division is simply splitting or distributing a group of things into equal parts. It is also an inverse operation of multiplication. Division shows us how many equal groups or how many in each group are sharing. Let's start with this story problem. Monk Jose divides 12 chocolate candies equally among his three children. How many chocolate candies does each child get? We can get the number of chocolate candies each child gets by using different ways. In the illustration, you can divide the chocolates into a group of three by equal sharing. In writing related equation using equal sharing, count the total number of objects in the set. In this case, we have 12 chocolates. Then divide it with the number of groups. There are three groups of chocolates. The answer would be the number of chocolates in each group. One, two, three, four. The equation would be 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Each child gets 4 chocolate candies. Another example of equal sharing or formation of equal groups of objects, let's have 15 marbles divided into 5 groups. In the picture, the marbles are divided into 5 groups, which shows that each group consists of 3 marbles. The related equation in the problem would be 15 divided by 5, equals 3. Another way to divide objects equally is using repeated subtraction. For example, 20 pesos was equally divided to 5 children. You start with 20 minus 4 equals 16. Then 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Once you reach 0, we need to stop. Let's have another way which is equal jumps in number line. For example, divide a 6 meter of tying wire into 3 pieces with equal length. By looking at the number line, the arrow jumps 3 times with equal length, which shows that the line is cut 2 meters each. Therefore, if 6 will be divided into 2 meters, we can make 3 pieces. The last number where the arrow landed is the dividend. The distance between the jumps is the divisor. The number of jumps is the quotient. Thus, the equation is 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 
This time, let's try to practice writing the division equation for each set. What is the division equation for this set of fish? Very good. There are 18 fish in all divided into three groups that gives us six. The equation would be 18 divided by 3 equals to 6. How about for this set of cars? Very good. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. How about the division equation for this set of mangoes? Very good. It's 10 divided by 2 equals to 5. How about for this set of balls? Very good. It's 18 divided by 9 equals to 2. What about the division equation for this bears? Very good. It's 14 divided by 2 equals 7. This time, let's try to use the number line. Let's try to write the division equation for each number line. What is the division equation for this figure? Very good. It's 20 divided by 5 equals to 4. What about for this number line? Very good. It's 15 divided by 5 equals to 3. What about for this one? Very good. It's 18 divided by 3 equals to 6. What is the division equation of this number line? Very good. It's 16 divided by 4 equals to 4. I hope you learned something from our video. Thank you for watching, kids!